Endgame. Endgame. Tyrant's last words to Parlax before finally stepping forward to the higher planes at last. <laughs> I'm excited, bro. I'm so excited to get Heritage. I ordered the vinyl. I can't wait to get it in the mail. I'll probably pick this one up too. Pick up the whole fucking discography. Not that bro. Why not? Oh man, on the last track. Woo! God, dude, his lows are so nasty. I think he had better lows in this era, but his highs improved as the eras improved. Or as time got... It moved on. He got better at highs. But his lows are fucking peak on this album, dude. Some of my favorite. Really, really sick, man. Just a one minute and 30 second track. Really sick. I like it. It's a good album, dude. We're going to be checking out this bonus track, but first let's talk about the album as a whole. Introducing beatdown and hardcore in the album, and then throwing it into deathcore with ambient vibes, of course. Really, really sick. And then they threw in that mathcore on a couple tracks, and I was like, what the fuck is this? Wasn't expecting that at all, dude. And it's really, really, really cool. I do hear some Travis vocals in here. Uh, Cow Decapitation. Kinda, a little bit, and not really his his uh not really his false chords, but um <clears throat> his his lows are definitely in here. I hear and some of his highs, but dude, there's there's a lot of similarities with this album that I think are like more OG deathcore bands uh, that I'll be listing at the end. 